Bismillah, in this bonus video, I would like to further elaborate a bit on identity versus role confusion because, you know, you are at this stage more. Most of you are at this stage here. So, this refers to the stage of personality development in which adolescent must find consistent sense of self, okay, ataupun identity. The teen would consider values in life such as political issues, career options like what do you want to become in the future, uh, psychiatrist contohnya kan, you are at the wrong course here, <laughs> okay so you need to take medic first, okay so but you know, you know for some of you who you know want to plan to major in psychology, then you know clinical psychologist might be a career option for you, a teacher might be a career option for you, uh, even other majors might be a career for uh, option for you, okay, uh, Sam might even, even think about marriage already, Okay, uh, you know, teens who are successful in the stage 1 to 4 would be better at resisting negative peer pressure. Uh, so, remember the stage 1 to 4. Okay, if you are able to go through that wonderful, wonderfully, right? So, uh, you might be able to, you know, uh, resist negative peer pressure. Okay, uh, not easily when your friend, uh, you know, smoke cigarette, contohnya, uh, you are able to macam say no to it. Uh, okay, you say no to it when your, apa, your, your peers all, you know, have girlfriend and boyfriend, uh, you are able to say no to it even though you are hanging out with them but once you tell them, you ask them, when when they ask you eh, bila nak berboyfriend, bila nak bergirlfriend kan? you say, no, no, tak boleh lah, okay, kena jaga ikhtilat ni okay, I, I'm afraid I cannot control myself, okay, you can say no to negative peer pressure and you know, hopefully, you know, may Allah grant you uh, a resistance to negative peer pressure inshallah Unsuccessful teens would lack trust in others, feeling guilty, shame, low self-esteem and dependent on others. And here's a brotherly tip, <laughs> okay, a brotherly tip to, for you and me, okay, is that, you know, uh, Allah has mentioned in Surah Tudariyat, okay, uh, Ayat 56, And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Wa ma khalaqtul jinn wal ins illa liya'budun. Okay, uh, Use this. This is my personal advice to you, eh? Okay, my brothers and sisters. Uh, use this as the base of your identity, because why? You know, according accordingly just now, right? Okay, to form your stable identity or values, right? Okay, uh, the sense of self. Okay, you are first and foremost Muslim. Ah, uh, this is my point here. You are first and foremost Muslim to worship Allah who Subhanahu Wa Taala. You know your purpose dulu. Okay, so you are first and foremost a Muslim. Secondary mungkin a Malaysian or a son or daughter to your parents. But you first foremost a Muslim dulu. Okay. Your first and foremost Lord would be Allah. Okay. Then Ar Rasul. Okay. And then your probably your parents ke, okay. Your friends ke, your bosses ke, whatever it is that comes after that. Okay. But first and foremost Allah and secondary would be Ar Rasul. Okay. Ataupun first and foremost dua-dua ni lah. Allah and Ar Rasul. Which is what you claim to be ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadar rasulullah allah and ar rasul that is your contract of your life there okay so your Mus you know muslim uh, first and foremost there so that should be your core okay of your identity dulu uh, once you settle with that dulu uh, then the rest would fall beautifully inshallah uh, okay uh, kadang kadang orang tak settlekan ni lagi dulu they don't become this as their core Hatta they make their call as okay. I'm first and foremost my the daughter of my parents. So tiba-tiba ada benda yang parents suruh buat, tapi against uh, apa uh, Rasul ataupun against uh, the Quran contohnya, they would willing to do, do it again, going against them because their God is their parents. You know, ada orang yang macam tu juga. May Allah uh, protect us from that. Eh? So again, okay, build your call based on this ayat. Uh, okay, so you know we are created okay to worship Allah. Okay, who can dictate our purpose except for our own creator? Uh, siapa je yang boleh dictate our purpose? Okay, semestinya pencipta kita. Alright, so, so ya, yakin tak yang Allah ni pencipta kita? Uh, if you have that problem, we need to find the answer to that first. Dapatkan keyakinan. Okay, that Allah is our creator. Once we have acknowledged that Allah is our creator, siapa je yang boleh bagi tahu apa purpose kita? Allah lah creator. Alright, uh, created that. So Allah already mentioned in this surah that is to worship Him. Uh, okay. So once this is your core of your identity, inshallah the rest would somehow fall into places. All your values dan sebagainya should be consistent with uh, what is uh, being as a Muslim there. Allah walaam.